Hello, welcome. Take a moment and read this problem. Press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we've got a function that models population growth and they're using a continuous growth model here with the base E. And we're told that T represents years after 2010. As of today, considering the following two statements. Okay. The first one says the current population is 110 million. And the second one says the population increases continuously by approximating 3.9% per year. So here, let's just talk about that. Um, two is okay. It's definitely true because we have continuous growth. Now, whenever you see a base of E, you can assume continuous growth. E is the number we use to represent continuous growth in money or population. And I can see that we have 0 0.03922. That's about 3.922% of growth. So that's okay. The current population is only 110 million, that's our front number right here, um, in the year 2010, right? Because if you plug in zero, this is years after 2010, look what happens. If you plug in zero, you get 110 times e to the power of 0 0.03922 times zero, zero years after 2010. Well, this right here is just zero, right? 0 0.03922 times zero is zero. And that means you have 110 times e to the 0. Well, e to the 0, any non-zero number to 0 is 1. So it's 110 times 1, which is 110, um, in this case, million. So that 110 is only true at 0 years after 2015. So therefore, choice 2 is correct, and it's the only one. All right, thank you.